Hi right, guys, welcome back. Today I have had a request on the comment section actually. So today we are going to be doing a loading screen as requested by Gage Drake. Loading screens are pretty easy, so we can actually jump straight into it. Unfortunately, with the current versions of Unreal Engine, you cannot have a animated loading screen without CC. Uh, the CC, C++. The only time you can have an animated uh, loading screen is if you're using a slate widget through C++. My knowledge of C++ within the engine is not that great. So, um, basically we're going to be doing it in Blueprint just to be able to make some kind of loading screen. Um, I'm going to try something that might make it look animated, but it might fail. So please don't be angry. But we'll try our best abilities to make it look as animated as possible. Alright, so let's get started. And I'll see you guys right now. Alright, so let's get started. So, in order to make a loading screen, we need to change a few things about the character, pro uh, the character blueprint. We need to change a few things in the menu. And we actually need to create some things. So I created this folder earlier. I'm going to delete it so we can start fresh. Alright. So under UGM, EMG, sorry. Uh, I'm going to go create a new folder. Name it loading screen. Alright, uh, sorry, no spaces. Alright. So now we've created the loading screen. I'm going into the folder. And then right click, user interface, widget blueprint. Loading screen. Save. Alright. Now, I'm going to open it up. I'm going to add a border into this corner. Reset the dimensions here. Change the size to about 8,000. About 8,000. Because that's no screen can be bigger than that. And then the brush color we're gonna make black all right next we're gonna add some text text there we go and we're gonna change the z order to one there we go and as you can see it's over there expand it and you're gonna type in low let's see loading uh, no dot 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 no loading pipe uh, so shift and for backslash that's what you need to press please wait and what we're going to do is we're going to change the color uh, not the color the size of this text there we go now what we're going to do is we're going to actually anchor it to the bottom we reset it to 720 or oh, actually 710 by 95 and then half of 710 is 305 no 355 okay negative 355 sorry okay but we need the whole thing I guess no, so we can do minus seven one zero by minus ninety five. Perfect. And I'm a spot loading. Fantastic. All right. Uh, let's actually move it inwards a bit. So this could be seven hundred six eighty six fifty. Yeah, that looks good. So minus 650, perfect, save. Alright, compile. And now, we're going to go to third person character, or your character's blueprint. And under begin play, we're going to follow the whole route until the end. 
of begin play. So everything in begin play must finish before we can do anything. Now, create a new variable called is uh, is loading question mark. Um, I like to add question marks to booleans because it kind of tells me it's a boolean. Alright, first of all, click the I, so it's public. Then hold your Alt key, drag it out, and connect it. Alright, now compile. Click on is loading and click the tick on the default value. Okay, that's done. Now, what do we want to happen? What we want to happen is when we press the new game button, we want it to check if the save game exists. It shouldn't. So, actually, wait, this is like a continuing game. Alright, that's fine. We're not gonna pay attention to that. What we're gonna do is first of all, we're gonna disconnect true here and here. And we're gonna keep this, but we could delete it if you wanted to. And for false as well, we're gonna disconnect and move to the side. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a widget. The class is loading screen, and the return value we're gonna drag out and say add to viewport. And that's it. That's it. That's it here. Over. Okay, now copy this and put it in here as well. Alright. That is it for the menu. So save and continue. Now, in the loading screen, because now what happened is we click new, check that the save game exists. We'll get back to that at some point. Um, it doesn't exist, so it will create the loading screen widget, it will add it to viewport, and it will delete the main menu widget. So now that we've created the loading screen widget, so on construct, what this is going to do is it's actually going to be a reset for a do once. So under tick, what we want to do is every uh, frame. We are going to cast to player, uh, not to player, sorry. Um, my character's blueprint is called third person character. Uh, yours could be something different, depending if you're following this tutorial, it will be third person character. If you are doing your own project, it would be whatever your character's name is, um, which is where you'd create the is loading widget, not widget, variable. Must be a boolean. And it must be private. I mean, um, public. So make sure to click the little eye. All right. So right click and type in player uh, character. So get player character. And we're going to so drag out the return value into the object. All right. There we go. Now. As the third person character, what you want to do is you actually want to get is loading. What we're going to do with this is we're actually going to use a branch. So you hold B for Bobby or branch and you click. It creates a branch anywhere you click. There we go. So the condition be is loading. So when the cast succeeds, right, and unless this condition fails, where it does not set the is loading to be false, if is loading is true, nothing happens. If false, we remove from parent, which is this widget. Alright? Now, in order for the screen to know when when it's supposed to start loading this level, because if we click new game now, it will just create this all stay here forever. Because this cast will actually constantly fail. I'll actually show you print string 
And what we're going to do is we're going to cost failed. All right, save, compile. So watch this corner here. Uh, new game. You see that? Cost failed, cost failed, cost failed. And it'll just stay here forever. So what we need to do is if the cost fails, we're going to open level. And remember the level that we are loading will be let's see what level shall we load? Level one? Level one. Compile. And then after it's done, we're gonna do a small delay just to make sure that everything can still open. And this is like 0.5 seconds. Alright, so we're going to press play, new game, and it loads the level. Simple. Now, I'm going to quickly try something. So I'm going to stop here. I'm going to quickly try something and actually see if I can make it look animated. Alright, guys. I just want to show you a few more things before we go. Unfortunately, I could not get it to work to actually look animated. The problem is, as soon as this node fires, everything actually freezes. So, without using C++, there's no actual possible way that I have found to make your loading screen animated. But as soon as I do figure it out, even if it is C++, uh, I will actually show you how it's, how it's done. Otherwise, I have failed you guys. Um, but yeah, as soon as as soon as I find out how this is done, I will post another video as an update. And also, I just want to show you one more thing. Here, we actually need to do something before we open the level. Because now it's going to try and constantly open the level until the cost is no longer failing. So what we're going to do in order to save some RAM, we're going to do do once. And it's a do once. Alright, now the way you're going to reset this do once is when this thing, like the actual widget, is made. So, alright, so my example map is always open. Yeah, my my editor crashed earlier because it kept on trying to load too much at the same time. There we go, loading done, awesome. And now if I go back, oh, sorry, I'm supposed to use the pause menu. Pause menu, good to get menu, new menu. Ah, there we go, perfect. All right, so that was the basic loading screen. Now is the basic loading screen, and yeah, I'd just like to say thank you very much once again to all the for all support. It's really appreciated. Um, please do leave a comment on what you'd like to see next. In the next video, I'm going to do the death system we spoke about earlier. It's just somebody actually requested something, so I wanted to do something to help somebody out. Um, so yeah, once again, thank you very much. Hope this helped you out. Um, pretty simple to do, like I said. Not much to do in here. Until next time when I figure out how to do a animated view. Um, uh, animated loading screen. I will post another update video. I'll actually probably put this one as private and put the new one on in place. And yeah. So thank you very much guys. And I'll see you next time.